There is, however, another approach to hurricane modification that was first tested back in the 1960s, following a series of devastating storms. Hurricane Agnes takes 134 lives. If only the force of the hurricane's winds could be reduced, the toll in death and damage could be greatly lessened. Is there a way? Project Storm Fury, a joint effort of NOAA, the Navy, and the Air Force, is designed to try to find one. The time that Storm Fury began was at a, was at a period of optimism in how we could beneficially control the weather. Scientists working on the project were convinced that they could reduce hurricane devastation using a process called cloud seeding. By spraying the thunderclouds inside the hurricane with a chemical called silver iodide. This would become known as the Storm Fury Hypothesis. Seen from directly above, the center of the hurricane is called the eye. The dense ring of clouds around the center is the eye wall, where large masses of warm, moisture-laden air rise from near sea level to great heights. Water vapor condenses in vast quantities. Some of the condensed droplets are carried aloft where temperatures are below freezing, but continue to exist as supercooled droplets. The seeding planes fly across the eye and into these clouds, seeding the supercooled water droplets from the belt of maximum winds outwards. The silver iodide acts to transform the supercooled water droplets into ice crystals, upsetting the delicate heat balance of the storm. As the silver iodide turns the supercooled water into ice, the heat released during this process causes the seeded clouds to grow and develop into a new outer eye wall. And the idea was that outer one would contract in and essentially squeeze off or strangulate the inner one. And as it does that, the hurricane weakens. So the theory is right. If you can make the outer part a little stronger, you make the very dangerous inner core, the eye wall is weaker. 